Hello everyone, Kevin Stevenson here with GetMeTheGeek.com and today we're going to have another free NAS video. Oh, hold that thought. Actually, we're going to have a True NAS Core video because if you didn't know, True NAS Core 12.0 just released and so now we're going to take our free NAS instances and turn them all into True NAS Cores. So I'm going to step you through that and I'll upgrading one of my existing machines. So let's get started. I'm Kevin Stevenson with Phase Logics. We're a managed IT services provider. If you'd like to hire us for projects, go ahead and check us out at GetMeTheGeek.com. If you find my videos valuable, go ahead and subscribe and like. If you'd like to support me directly, go ahead and buy me a coffee. Here we go. Let's go ahead and open up browser. So first off, let's just talk about TrueNAS. So the last release of FreeNAS was 13, or it was 11.3. Uh, dash u5 and uh, it's a great release but now they have made the transition the rebranding and the updates to to release the initial release of true nas core 12.0 so you can go to the free nas website and go to download free nas and you can get it right there so let's look at the release notes so first off came out October 20th so that is yesterday and my time right now whenever you're seeing this video it might be obviously a little bit different but let's talk about the improvements and the things that happened with TrueNAS 12. First of all TrueNAS 12 is their unification of IX systems as platforms so they're gonna have TrueNAS Core which is the free uh, free NAS equivalent they're going to have TrueNAS Scale, which is a Linux base, free NAS basically, and and then they're going to have their uh, corporate version, which is has uh, some extra features. So let's go ahead and look here. Oh, so we're going to bring all all the support for OpenZFS 2.0 comes into this one. ZS, ZFS native crypto, two-factor auth. Um, Performance improvements. Oh, see, always good when they're saying that virtually every area of the platform has been updated and includes some sort of performance improvements. That is amazing. We always like to hear performance improvements out of our storage devices. Fusion pools. This is one I'm super kind of interested in that basically allows you to make uh, a hybrid SSD and spinning drive storage and so i'm interested to test that out in the near future with a video vpn support um this is also a good one because open vpn server and client is something i use on all my businesses and throughout my day so open vpn is a great vpn server i use it on my pf senses and to be able to have that support in my free true nas Core is amazing. Okay, we also have the True Command Cloud integration. This isn't something I've explored very much, uh, but this is their uh, single pane system for managing multiple devices. Okay. Now we'll go down here and look at the bug fixes real quick. As you can see, it's a pretty good little list of bug fixes i'm not going to go over all those if you want to check these out go ahead and go to ix systems's blog and check out the release notes for true nas 12. Um, there are a couple of known issues and um, so you may want to look at those before you upgrade but let's get to the important part upgrade an existing machine here is one of my true nas my free nasses it is um, currently set to 11.3-U3, and uh, it's been up 91 days since I last did anything. Let's go over to the system. Let's go ahead and make this bigger so you can see it a little easier. Systems, run, roll on down here to update, and then it's going to see this. And there are updates that I haven't installed in this. We're going to go ahead and just switch this over here. If you haven't done this before, the train you're on is the release train. Uh, I this one is on the 11.3 stable release train. We're going to change it to 
the TrueNAS 12 stable release. And switch update trains. Confirm. I love the fact that they have not only a dialog box, but a checkbox that you have to do to say, hey, this is a big thing. Let's go ahead and change this. So let's do that. Boom. So we're going to download updates. And that's going to... And, and this, is, this is something that's fairly new. Uh, but when you do this, it automatically says, Hey, do you want to save your configuration? And I'm going to say, Yes, I do. And so now I have this backup of the configuration of this FreeNAS. The nice thing about this is that backup is all the config, you know, your passwords, how your pools are configured. So if, if something goes wrong with the FreeNAS installation, you can install FreeNAS fresh. And especially if you have it on separate drives, the installs on separate drives, and you should, um, you can reinstall FreeNAS, take this config file, upload it in there, and it'll import your pools and everything be back to normal. Let's go ahead and apply these updates. And then we're going to cross our fingers and make sure everything goes swimmingly. Well, looky there. All right. Let's go ahead and log in. So let's just take it from the beginning and take a look at this. True NAS Core. So we've got a new logo and, and, and design up here in the front. We've got red up. We've got rid of the shark. I love the shark, but, uh, you know, I guess you move on. And look, here we go. Welcome to your new NAS. Helpful getting started. And uh, so you've got the true NAS documentation site. Let's just go ahead and open that up in a new tab. Community forums. Let's open that in a new tab. And then TrueNAS is free and open source software. Check it out. Uh, you can find this information later by clicking on the cog up in the corner. Boom, boom. There it is. Let's just click getting started. Okay. So first off, what I've noticed here is uh, a theme change. You know, it's, it's gray on black uh, with blue highlights and orange highlights. So, uh, so far I'm liking it. There's the old TrueNAS or true command logo i think they that's updated now so i'm kind of surprised that's not a different one but i've got an alert here it says uh new ve new version of zfs available so i can go and upgrade the pools and then this is some other stuff so um let's go ahead and look over here change password preferences api keys about about brings us back to where we were Okay, just once over on the dashboard here, everything basically is the same here except for the logo change and it's saying uh, generic platform because I have this installed on some uh, uh, an HP uh, machine. True NAS release 12, free NAS local, uptime, CPU usage, uh, our memory, the uh, storage pool tank, and you know it's eight eight terabytes. And I, you can see that I still have uh, interface one up and zero not. So, so far everything looks basically the same as 11.3, which is exactly what we want because this is the transition version to get everything unified. So we want it to be as similar and as easy a transition as possible. From this point on, though, we start to do the ex exciting stuff. All right, so let's just uh, click on system, go to general. Um, everything here looks the same. I'm just going to do a quick once through and just look to see. I'm going to go down here to storage and storage pools. And you can see that I have bunches of stuff configured on this guy. Um, let's just go to add. Create pool, import pools. Everything looks normal there. Uh, let's just see this. Export, disconnect, add BDEV, scrub pool, status, 
upgrade pool? All right. So that's a good question. I think this pool is supposed to be upgraded. So let's just go ahead and upgrade pool. Proceed with upgrading pool. Warning. Upgrading is a one-way operation. So when you do this, be afraid, <laughs> basically. Um, and and it and so once you switch this up, you are using the new version of ZFS uh, protocols. So going back to an older version is just not an option. So again, they got the the checkbox there. It, that not only is there a dialogue, but you got to do a checkbox and then click continue. So I love that about this. That is a sign of a company that's very interested in um, production, high quality stuff that's, that's high uptime stuff. So tank successfully upgraded. All right. Yay. There we go. And um, there you have it. I'm Kevin Stevenson with GetMeTheGeek.com. And this has been a free NAS to true NAS upgrade video. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button. Maybe subscribe for other videos if you, if you get something out of it. And if you really want to help me out, go ahead and check out my Buy Me A Coffee link. And send me a little bit of love. Thank you.